Hey guys, Lamp for 92 here again today with episode 79 of Coin Collector. And quickly before I get started with the footage of this episode, um, in regards to yesterday's episode and the comments I got in the comment section on this video, um, that I should change the squad around and have um, Kabul and Hugo Loris in there, um, or actually that I can do this. I knew that I could do this. Um, I just wanted to try out Mandanda and give Benatia um, yeah, a try as well because I hadn't tried him out yet and his stats looked quite amazing, especially 85 defending. But um, even with having 66 pace, which isn't too low uh, for a center back on this game, it's still too low for the 352. I realized that after a couple of games, so that experiment kind of backfired on me, as you will see in the yeah, outcome of this episode. And actually, here, probably the nicest goal I scored with this team so far with um, Toti Falcao. A wonderful movement there, and then wonderful finish there as well with his left foot. Five star weak foot ability, so no problem for him there. And anyways, for tomorrow's episode, I will actually have changed around the squad. So, Yanga Mbiva will play my right center back, then Kabul in the middle and Hugo Loris in goal, um, which should probably be a lot better because then I have this kind of BPL overpoweredness in the squad, which seems to be kind of frequent um, on this game. Um, as usual, probably the BPL players are still, <clears throat> yeah, I would say, superior to other league players. Um, anyways, scoring the 5-1 here uh, against a silver team, fair enough that he played me for so long. Um, he had a good pacey team, but still I didn't feel handicapped at all in this game, which was kind of good to see, um, which of course shouldn't be in the game. And actually I get the win um, pretty comfortably, uh, as I should against the silver team, to be honest. Heading straight into another match. And actually this episode is going to be quite long, as you could see, around 8 minutes long. And this is simply because I wanted to put all the games I had with this squad, uh, so not with um, Kabul and Hugo Loris in there, uh, to put it into one episode. And also, <laughs> you will be able to see the kind of ups and downs of the team here. Um, one of the biggest yeah, kind of advantages of this team is actually that you score a lot of goals from corners or that you are very lethal from corners. You've got Skrittel, you've got Falcao and of course Benzema who uh, for me so far has been better at heading and jumping and all that good stuff um, than Team of the Year Falcao. Which was kind of surprising because Falcao has like 96 heading on his card and then in-game 99 heading accuracy and 99 jumping which is just ridiculous by the way. Um, anyways, got a nice layoff free kick here with El Arabi. Gotta say he's pretty good. Um, he's got 86 dribbling, which is of course um, really, really high for a silver player. And here you can just see uh, Benzema's finishing. Doesn't let you down, to be honest. And I actually uh, find that the inform Benzema is quite a lot better than the normal Benzema. Um, his finishing seems to be very good. He seems to be a little bit faster than the normal Benzema. And um, I don't know if that's worth around... I don't know how much the normal Benzema goes for at the moment, maybe around th uh, 30,000 coins. And I got the Inform Benzema for uh, something under 500,000 coins. So this is, of course, a kind of huge coin total you are paying for the Inform Benzema. But still, if you have got the coins um, like I had, and I wouldn't do anything with else with the coins anyway, so I just uh, bought the Inform Benzema. It actually came up quite against quite a lot of pacey teams here. Uh, in this episode and that uh, was in the end kind of um, a problem for me uh, with Benatia there also my two CDMs uh, not the quickest although Steven Gerrard is of course all over the place and has got great intercep interception stats and um, Belhanda as well is a pretty good player with high defensive work rate get a penalty here and I um, let Falcao take this as he has got 99 penalties which is just ridiculous as well um, Actually, a comment that I saw in the comment section was that I should um, yeah, keep hold of Team of the Year Falcao as his price will rise over the next few weeks. And I will definitely do that. I had planned that anyways. And um, yeah, I'll just keep him in my squad. Maybe change around the squad after some games. Maybe to um, yeah, fit some other players in there. Then we'll see how much his price actually rises and how much profit I will make off him. Got him for just under 1.1 million coins, so that should be kind of a nice deal at the moment. He goes for between 1.1 and 1.2 million coins. And now I actually um, secured not being relegated from Division 1, and these were the three good games of this episode. And now we come towards the three bad games of this episode, and um, I don't know, I just... I maybe should have uh, stopped playing FIFA after the first of these matches or after the first two matches, but 
I just wanted to get a win back here coming up against the full inform, uh, not full inform, but full Manchester City squad. And when this shot went in, I just, I sat in front of my console, totally befuddled, um, kind of first time or uh, second time volley there from David Silva. And that was actually all that happened in this match. He was playing on defensive or even ultra defensive, which is kind of a problem if you have um, very high rated players, especially a blue card in your squad that people tend to yeah, play defensive or even ultra defensive, especially once they are one goal up. So I actually lost the first match of this episode. And here we come up against... Another yeah, kind of pacey squad, a little bit weird there with um, Cambridge Boateng as the left midfielder. But uh, he gets the game started here after a cross. And to be honest, uh, how you can be outjumped by Santi Cazorla in this kind of position um, is just beyond me. To be honest, that is just some FIFA stuff. He as well, Impact Engine kind of failed me, but uh, of course I... It was a penalty after all, and he puts it away after some thinking here with Robin van Persie making no mistake about it, and puts it into the middle, um, dive the right, uh, dive the wrong way there, nothing to do there, and then I'm on ultra attacking, and he just spins through my defense, passes it across to Robin van Persie to give him the 3-0 lead, and victory in the 90th minute there, so another loss there. And once again, this time I didn't deserve um, anything more than a loss at all. So we are actually now into a new Division 1 because I couldn't get the title anyways. Uh, so coming up against the Valley Boys here in the last match of this episode. Kind of frustrating game to be honest, I'm not gonna lie there. And uh, very nice Bundesliga team there with a lot of pace. And Andre Schürrle on this game is just ridiculously overpowered. Um, he is pacey in real life, not gonna lie, but uh, he's not that good in real life, trust me. Um, anyways, get the game started here very luckily. Once again, Benzema at the right place at the right time with nice positioning and also reaction stats there. And he just uh, almost exclusively ran down the wing and crossed it in. And this is actually one of the biggest flaws I think are in the game. The combination of uh, the importance of pace and then assisted crossing is just uh, ridiculous. I might change to assisted crossing uh, just to be able to yeah, get back in these kind of games where people just cross against me. If you didn't know it before, I use semi-crossing to make it yeah, kind of more challenging a little bit and also you can place the crosses uh, sometimes better for some nice shots or bicycle kicks, stuff like that. Anyways, I get a red card here and a penalty against me uh, in the dying moments of the game. Didn't matter anyways because I was down far too much here. Uh, anyways, this is going to be the end of this episode, guys. So as always, a like is greatly appreciated if you did indeed enjoy it. Other than that, thanks once again a lot for watching and I will talk to you later.